this is a speed cubing competition. So we have speed cubers of all ages, of all skill levels, all coming here to compete. Even though it can be stressful sometimes for people, it's really fun to solve in competition. I think the Rubik's Cube itself is just very intriguing, it's very interesting. You know, there are over 43 quintillion different ways that a 3x3 cube can be arranged. And I just really, with this competition, wanted to bring more speed cubing opportunities to Texas. Solving the cube, really there's no room for error if you want to hit your best mark in competition. It's always a lot of prep to make sure that the cube is set the right way, that you've got your algorithms down. So, for instance, let's say I wanted to twist two of these corners, just rotate them in place. I could perform a sequence of moves, an algorithm, that will do exactly that. Now both of these corners are in the same position, they've just been twisted, so the orientation is different. I don't necessarily see the whole solution right off the bat. I have 15 seconds to inspect the puzzle before starting, and I'll plan 8 to 12 moves. But from that point on, I don't know what's coming. It's, it's really kind of a journey through the cube, in a way. When I went to my first competition, I was 14 years old. So it's interesting that I've kind of grown up with the community, but I definitely do feel a little bit on the older end, which is strange, because <laughs> that wasn't always the case. <laughs> in first place with an average of 9.84 seconds, is Anthony Brooks. What I love, Anyone can do the Rubik's Cube. That's what's great about speed cubing is uh, you don't need to have natural talent. Everyone just works very hard at it and they see results.